Hello, my name is Johnny Binder, General Curator for Cameron Park Zoo. Today on Step Into the Wild, we're going to be stepping into our hospital building to meet with Dr. Andrea Blair from Texas A&M Veterinary School, and she's going to introduce a very cool new resident to Cameron Park Zoo. Let's step into the wild. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Winkle Blair. Um, this is the newest edition. Um, it is an, a bobcat that was found about roughly a little over a week ago um, by one of the doctors at Texas A&M. Um, it was brought into our zoo medicine service for potential rehabilitation. She was extremely emaciated and covered in fleas and extremely anemic and honestly the first 24 hours were incredibly critical with her did not think she was going to make it but she's done a great job on rebounding and one of the side effects of being around people all the time is that she has actually become quite fond of us and we were looking for a good place to come to basically be able to care for something that is not afraid of humans anymore um, and so Cameron Park Zoo was gracious enough to take this new little addition. We're very happy to accept her. Yay! What a cutie. Since she is imprinted, our goal for her is um, to be able to use her for educational programs and um, tours. And so with that, we will uh, be desensitizing her to different environments. When Reveille came in, she was actually still being treated for flea anemia. That's why she initially was transferred to A&M. So she was still on medication, but her blood values have improved to the point that we were able to stop her medications. Just as she's growing, it's similar to what you would see a, a normal house cat do. She's right about six weeks old now, so she is starting to really be able to focus on things. Um, she also is focusing and, and starting to kind of stalk prey and, and ambush and pounce things, which are all natural behaviors, which is, is good for her to uh, be able to exhibit. We are getting her acclimated to a harness. We um, Our goal is for her to be a program animal, so we want her to be able to be outside around different sights and sounds. So we are putting on our harness daily and just bring her out in this area initially. Um, she just received her first vaccinations yesterday, so we're hoping to be able to start taking her out on zoo grounds while the public's not here, just because we don't want it to be too overwhelming for her. Today, Reveille is actually eight weeks old. She's been with the zoo now for a month, and uh, we are just continuing to work on her progress as being a program animal. She really has grown. She's doubled in weight and uh, she's really starting to take on more of that bobcat appearance. She's getting really lanky, long limbs, um, kind of that skinnier body, not, not really looking like just your average house cat kitten anymore. She's really becoming a bobcat. We've been going on walks um, behind the scenes since she first arrived, and then this past week, we were cleared to start doing walks on the public side to get her used to sights and sounds. When we're doing programs for the public, there's a lot of different sights, sound, moving parts and so it's important for her to get used to just having a lot of different stimulation around her in an environment and being comfortable with it. She is, she's doing great. Um, she's at that time in her life that if she were in the wild with her mom, um, she'd be learning to actually hide and, and be more reserved. So we are uh, just acclimating her to, it's okay to be out, it's okay to be visible. Reveille is right at three and a half months old and she has doubled in size. She has gotten much more agile, is much more active and really loves engaging in play. We have just started introducing her to our, what was formerly our ocelot exhibit and we're allowing her to go out there at different times of the day to play and engage in natural behavior. She really loves climbing, um, chasing things, playing in the water, which was a huge surprise to us. We didn't think she'd enjoy the water that much. 
It's only about the third day that she's been going out on exhibit. We really had to make sure that she was very adequate at climbing and that if she did climb really high up the trees that she would be able to get herself back down. And so that's been kind of a learning curve for her, but she's really starting to master that skill. So yes, we are starting operant conditioning for her. Um, it is our goal still for her to be a program animal, but we always have to have a plan B too. And um, any of our animals here at the zoo receive operant conditioning. So we pair a food reward with a, a verbal and um, a consistent sound um, cue. So that way they understand the behaviors and it becomes an ingrained behavior for them. We are doing more behaviors right now with her for like demo purposes, explaining how she can climb, um, how she's good at stalking, her agility, why they have claws, things like that. Um, but we also will train her just uh, standard husbandry procedures to be comfortable with vaccinations, uh, to continue to be handled throughout her life, and um, other type of veterinary examinations. Reveille is right at nine months old now. She is fully integrated here at the zoo into the exhibit and she is being trained by all of our staff members. She now eats our carnivore diet that we feed to our large and small carnivores. Uh, we're transitioning her off the cat food that she initially started with. She is a, in a, a fan favorite as far as with our visitors. She's very interactive and so they really enjoy seeing her play on exhibit and uh, just have a really good time. So Reveille first started out when we first got her at 500 grams. She's actually up to 16 pounds now, so she has exploded in weight and size. She will continue to grow for the next year or so, and she should top out um, in the mid-20s as far as weight. It's been a really wonderful experience having the opportunity to actually raise her and work with her in the capacity that we have. It's been a, a long journey. She actually was in the home with me for almost six months just to really make sure that she was getting all the attention and care that she was needing. And and she also went home with a couple of my keeper staff and it really, it took a, a really good core group to make her the amazing animal that she is today. She already had a great foundation, but it just, it took a lot of time and, and work on our part to make sure that she was socialized and that she was getting the adequate training and things like that. So it was a really positive experience. <music>